क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी थ्री द क्वेश्चन इज विच इज इन करेक्ट इन द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ग्लूकोज इट इज टू बी रिएक्टेड विथ ब्रोमीन इन वॉटर नाउ रिएक्शन ऑफ ग्लूकोज इन ब्रोमीन इन वॉटर ग्लूकोज दैट इज द कंपाउंड हैविंग दिस स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज द कंपाउंड ग्लूकोज नाउ इट इज टू बी रिएक्टेड विथ ब्रोमीन इन वॉटर इन ब्रोमीन इन वॉटर दैट इज एन ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट विल ऑक्सीडाइज एल्डिहाइडिक ग्रुप इन टू एसिड सो इन दिस केस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द रिएक्शन विल बी दिस कंपाउंड and that is known as gluconic acid it's gluconic acid and that is given in option the first option is glucose reacts with bromine in water to give gluconic acid and that is correct option second option is glucose is to be reacted with nitric acid <coughs> when it is reacted with nitric acid again being oxidizing agent it oxidizes aldehyde group but it also it oxidizes one degree alcoholic group present in compound so now in this case due to oxidation of aldehydic group and one degree alcoholic group both there will be formation of this compound and that is called that is known as sacaric acid but in the option it is given that glucose is to be reacted with nitric acid it gives gluconic acid it's not gluconic acid it is sacaric acid so this is incorrect in third option glucose is to be reacted with tollens reagent and tollens reagent also oxidizes aldehyde group into acidic group so again there is formation of gluconic acid and that is correct according to the option it is given tollens reagent to give gluconic acid and that is formed in the reaction and in fourth option glucose is to be reacted with sodium amalgam plus water and in this case reduction of compound takes place in which aldehyde group gets reduced into alcoholic group and aldehyde group on reduction into al alcoholic group there will be formation of this compound and this compound is known as sorbitol so now according to the question the question is which is incorrect glucose reaction with bromine in water gives gluconic acid that is correct option that is correct nitric acid to give gluconic acid that is incorrect it doesn't give gluconic acid it gives sacaric acid torrens reason to give gluconic acid reaction with nahg in water to give sorbitol so according to options second option is the correct answer correct answer is second because the question is which is incorrect among the following and this is incorrect because product is sacaric acid and in the question in the option it is gluconic acid is given so correct answer is second option this next question number 64 the question is what is iupac name of the given compound and the given compound is now in this case this compound is having ketone as the principal functional group so numbering of carbon atoms of the principal carbon chain will be started from its carbon to give least position to principal functional group now after covering principal functional group parity will be given to multiple bond over substituents that's why numbering will be in clockwise direction now first of all names of substituents two methyl groups are present as substituent in the compound their positions are 5 and 6 so it will be 5 6 dimethyl cyclo ring is composed of six atoms so it will be hex 
double bond is present in carbon chain with position 2 in and ketone is the principal functional group of compound so it will be 1 ohm its position is 1 so overall name of the compound is ipac name of the compound is 56 dimethyl cyclohex 2 in 1 ohm so the correct option is fourth option that is the correct answer in the question number 65th the question is which of the following pairs is a pair of diastereomers now what is diastereomers actually diastereomers are two compounds two stereoisomers which are not mirror images diastereomers are two stereoisomers which are not mirror images of each other now in the first option the given compounds are mirror images of each other these compounds are mirror images of each other so this pair cannot be a pair of diastereomers in the second option again the given compounds are mirror images of each other so they cannot be diastereomers of each other in fact those stereoisomers those compounds which are mirror images of each other in the compounds first and second and are not superimposable are called enantiomers so in the first option given pair of compounds is a pair of enantiomers optically active compounds same in case of second option again the given compounds are mirror images of each other and are not superimposable so again is a pair of enantiomers in third option the given compounds are geometrical isomers of each other in the third option given compounds are geometrical isomers of each other and it is a pair of stereoisomers which are not mirror images of each other these compounds are not mirror images of each other and a pair of stereoisomers because geometrical isomerism is also a type of stereoisomerism so it is a pair of those stereoisomers which are not mirror images and this pair will be called diastereomers in option number fourth two compounds are having different structural formula so they cannot be stereoisomers in first option the given compounds are enantiomers mirror images and non superimposable in second option again the given compounds are enantiomers mirror images and not non superimposable in third option given compounds are stereoisomers and are not mirror images so it will be a pair of diastereomers in fourth option compounds are having different structural formula so they cannot be stereoisomers in fact they are structural isomers so the correct answer is third option this is the correct answer Next question number a compound purine is given having this structure this compound is given and that is purine the question is how many active basic sites are available in the given compound purine now active basic sites that is those sites where protonation is easily possible now although the compound is having five nitrogen atoms in the structure but out of these five nitrogen atoms lone pair of this nitrogen atom is involved in resonance this is delocalized lone pair lone pair is involved in resonance same in this nitrogen its lone pair is involved in resonance if lone pair is involved in resonance these are not available for these are not easily available for protonation but lone pair on this nitrogen atom lone pair on this nitrogen atom and lone pair on this nitrogen atom these are the three nitrogen atoms these are the three sites in which lone pair on nitrogen atom is localized it cannot participate in resonance it means availability of lone pair on these three nitrogen atoms is more as compared to availability of these two nitrogen atoms on these two nitrogen atoms since lone pair of these two nitrogen atoms are involved in resonance so the active basic sites that is the sites where lone pair is 
available move and that is 1, 2 and 3. Three sides are available in the given compound where availability of lone pair is more. So the compound is having three active basic sites. Correct answer is third option. In the question number 67, it is a sequence of reactions in which first of all the compound cyclopentanone is to be reacted with methyl magnesium bromide followed by hydrolysis. Now first of all reaction of methyl magnesium bromide with cyclopentanone, it will be a nucleophilic addition reaction in which the nucleophilic part of Grignard's reason that is alkyl part CS3 negative will attack on deficient site of the given organic substrate molecule and the deficient site of the given compound is carbon atom with del positive charge, oxygen atom is partial negatively charged. So this nucleophile will attack on this electron deficient site to give nucleophilic addition reaction. The product of the reaction will be this compound. Now this compound is to be reacted with S3O plus that is reaction of cyclopentanone with methyl magnesium bromide followed by hydrolysis and in this case through acid base reaction because in this case oxygen is negatively charged and MgBr is positively charged this negatively charged oxygen will show acid base reaction with S3O plus and in this acid base reaction there will be formation of this compound. So the compound A formed in the sequence of reactions is this alcohol. Now this compound A is to be reacted with hydrobromic acid, is to be reacted with hydrobromic acid in which the reaction is will start with acid base reaction. Now first of all protonation of alcohol will take place to give this protonated alcohol then in the next step there will be formation of carpentine and now bromide ion will attack as a nucleophile on this carpentine to give product of the reaction and that is this compound, that is compound B formed in the sequence of reaction. Now in the next step, this compound is to be further reacted with magnesium in dry ether, it is to be reacted with magnesium in dry ether and that is preparation of Grignard's reason. This bromide will react with magnesium to give a new Grignard's reason and that is this compound. Now this Grignard's reason, this is compound C formed in the sequence of reaction. Now this compound further it is to be reacted with formaldehyde again followed by hydrolysis. Its reaction with formaldehyde is again nucleophilic addition reaction in which this nucleophile will attack on this deficient carbon atom to give this addition product. followed by hydrolysis to get this alcohol. This is compound D formed in the sequence of reactions. Now compound D is to be further reacted with HI. and that will start with protonation of alcohol. On protonation and on elimination of water, there will be formation of this carbon and which gets converted into a six membered carbon by carbon rearrangement. This is carbon rearrangement in which 
this five membered ring gets converted into six membered ring and then the nucleophile I negative will attack on this carbutyl to finally give the product E. And the question is what is the end product E? So the answer is fourth option. Correct answer is fourth option. So what is overall sequence of reactions? First of all, cyclopentanone is to be reacted with methyl magnesium bromide that is a nucleophilic addition reaction in which it will be the product that is compound A formed uh, that is to be further reacted with S3O plus that is hydrolysis of the product to give compound A. This is the first sequence product A. Then it is to be reacted with HBr. Its reaction with HBr that will be nucleophilic substitution reaction to give bromide as the product B. Then product B is to be further reacted with magnesium in dry ether that is formation of Grignard's reagent. So product C formed in the sequence reaction will be a Grignard's reagent and that is to be further reacted with formaldehyde followed by hydrolysis. So its reaction with formaldehyde followed by hydrolysis will give alcohol. This is compound D that is alcohol formed in the sequence of reactions. Then it is to be further reacted with HI in which again it will be nucleophilic substitution reaction SN1 reaction which involves formation of carbutyl. Carbutyl rearrangement will take place in which this 5 member ring gets converted into 6 member ring then nucleophile I negative will attack on this carbutyl to finally give product E. So correct answer is fourth option.